Hello and welcome everybody. A Spark on Dope asked me to rank the different types of reclaim commands by performance and we are going to do this in uh, this video. So we are going to start with high efficiency and we are going to finish with low efficiency commands. And let's start here. The highest efficiency command is going to be manual reclaim. And to use manual reclaim, uh, you select an engineer and you press this icon and you basically drop it uh, several times on reclaimables like these rocks. And you want to account for the build range. So as soon as you have depleted the reclaimables in uh, your build range area, you would give a movement command and continue here. In this area, for example, you would give another movement command, continue in this area, and so on, right? And this is how you can um, achieve a very uh, like uh, travel time efficient way of reclaiming. And, um, and this is quite good, right? So let's take a look at this uh, in the game. And you can see that this engineer is pretty much constantly reclaiming without any breaks in between uh, the execution of the reclaim orders. And that's the fastest way of reclaiming in this game. And uh, it is especially good when there is a lot of reclaim close. So within the range of this engineer, there are tons of rocks to reclaim. And this is pretty much an ideal position where you would use uh, manual reclaim if you can. It also lets you pick the type of reclaimable you're getting. So there are trees, for example, which uh, should give you some power and uh, mass as well. And rocks only give you mass, for example. right? And there are different types of reclaimables that give you uh, power or mass or both and uh, in different ratios. So manual reclaim lets you decide which you get and uh, in which order, right? So it's quite good. The downside, of course, is that it takes time to queue up, but uh, you should get used to it and uh, consider manual reclaim your benchmark for any game because uh, good players are going to have good map awareness and they're going to have the ability to like mechanically execute commands quickly uh, in this game, right? And that's why the um, a manual reclaim is something you basically just have time for uh, when you're actually quick at giving commands, all right? So you should always use it if you can and uh, achieve to get good enough to use it as well. Now let's move on to the first type of automatic reclaim. And this is using uh, a factory attack move. And to give a factory attack move, you press Alt and uh, the right mouse button like this. And this is what it looks like. Just like an attack command, and uh, all units from the factory are going to move into this position and uh, if it's engineers they're going to start reclaiming. And this has the advantage that the reclaim range is extended. So nobody really knows whether this is a bug or a feature but uh, it has become accepted and everybody uses it pretty much. So I've heard that uh, there may be a patch at some point that is going to remove this uh, extended reclaim range that is either being implemented or being discussed, I'm not sure but uh, this may change after a while. But uh, still using factory reclaim is uh, even going to uh, be convenient after uh, the uh, removal of the extended reclaim range, right? So it's, it's simply a good way of um, giving automatic reclaim commands. And you should pay attention to re-give this command after every engineer, because you know, these commands don't actually expire since you can, like as soon as no reclaim is in the range of the engineer or in the extended range, uh, you can simply uh, drag them around on the map like this, right? And the engineer would uh, then switch position and um, pretty much move over uh, as soon as there's no reclaim in the range and continue reclaiming in this very spot, right? Or you could redirect it like this, see? So as long as you babysit these commands a little bit, the engineers are always going to keep their extended reclaim range and reclaim everything in this area. This is good especially when the reclaim is a little bit scattered. So here we had reclaim that was very bunched up in a small spot and here it's a bit more scattered in a line pretty much, right? And this is where the factory reclaim move may actually be better than uh, manual reclaim, right? Or at least the difference is not going to be so high. The downside of this is that there is a relatively long break in between uh, the reclaim commands so the execution between uh, the separate reclaim commands is uh, associated with some time lag, right? It is not in, as quick in succession as in the manual reclaim type. And unfortunately, this doesn't let you pick the type of reclaim you get. So if you would use this in the forest and there are rocks and trees, then uh, the game decides for you which you're getting. And the game has some rules to decide but uh, it's not as good as doing it manually, right? 
And so that's pretty much what you have to know about that factory reclaim. And this is a quite efficient way of reclaiming. But this would be a, a situation where two engineers are moving to the same reclaim command because I didn't re-give it in between. And this is something you usually want to avoid because you can maximize the efficiency by uh, separating this, right? And also dragging them around on the map separately like this. See? So I guess let's move on to the next type of uh, automatic reclaim. So the next type of automatic reclaim is uh, something I've seen in the replay by uh, ta for life and um, it's actually pretty interesting because it is not as uh, slow as the next two types of uh, automatic reclaim I'm going to present here and it doesn't rely on factories either. So what you do is you, know, you pause uh, the construction of the engineer and you put a factory on top of reclaimables like this. Right? And you may have to play around on the build range a little bit but you can see how you basically achieve the same speed uh, as if you used manual reclaim, but uh, the queuing up process doesn't take so long, right? And of course, it is not as reliable as manual reclaim as the engineer would at some point simply start building the factory, right? But it is still a lazy way, a way of reclaiming fast. So you can use this, especially in areas where there are lots of small rocks in a small area. Uh, that's always good. Now let's continue with the last two types of automatic reclaim. Uh, we have the patrol command, which is... You can use it by selecting this uh, patrol icon and putting it on the map, or you use the hotkey for it. And basically what it does is the engineer is going to move along this route and in a generous range, it is going to pick up everything on the way. And by generous range, I don't mean that the engineer doesn't have to move in order to pick up these things. It just uh, is going to travel uh, to anything that's outside the range, pretty much, right? So this is not going to be very travel time efficient. Actually, it's the least travel time efficient, usually. And um, it is also a very slow type of reclaiming, because you can see that there are longer breaks in between uh, the execution of reclaim commands. This does not let you pick the type of reclaimable either. The game is going to decide for you based on its rules. But uh, this has the advantage that uh, the engineer never idles. So even if no reclaim is in the range, the uh, engineer is going to keep traveling here. And let's say there's going to be an air fight later uh, over this hill, and a few interceptor wreckages drop here, then the same engineer you've given uh, this command several minutes ago uh, is going to like reclaim these wreckages on the way. So the patrol command is a good way of like um, having permanent reclaim coverage on the map. It is infinite and the engineer is never going to stop. And you can tell that this requires minimal babysitting. So if you don't identify uh, that uh, some of these engineers that were given a patrol command are actually idling because there is nothing in the range they can effectively reclaim, then um, it looks like you have less engineers in total, right? Because you think this engineer is busy, it's not. And you could use it for another project, but you aren't using it for another project. This is why this requires at least a little bit of attention and babysitting. But it is quite convenient, actually, because losing a single engineer in a late game is not going to hurt too much, right? So a good way of uh, reclaiming as well. And you should not be um, discouraged by the slowness of the reclaim. Because if the reclaim is slow, it also means that the, the reclaim is going to last longer, right? And in some situations, getting a short-lived boost that is instantly going to be put into some tanks or whatever is not going to be as nice as um, allowing you to take a, a T1 next to T2 for several minutes and uh, you can actually sustain this reclaiming, right? So consider this a uh, sustainable type. And lastly, uh, the last type of automatic reclaim is uh, the simple attack move. So you would hold Alt and uh, make a right click on the map. And this is going to give the same attack move sort of as the factory attack move. Except engineers that are given this uh, command are not going to have the extended reclaim range they get from the factory. right? And there's pretty much no real difference in efficiency between the patrol command and the automatic uh, reclaim by ground attack. But um, the difference is that 
the engineer is going to idle uh, or this command is going to end when no more reclaimables are in the area. So this is infinite and this stops after a while. And depending on what you want, you may use this or this pretty much. This picks up reclaimables from battles that haven't happened yet, maybe, if you let it patrol for the entire game. And this is going to be uh, in your idle engineer list after a while. And that's all the difference. But in efficiency, these two are not as good as the other types of uh, reclaim commands. So now you know the hierarchy of reclaim commands by efficiency. We started with the most efficient and concluded with the least efficient. Keep in mind that all types of uh, patrol or attack move based uh, reclaim commands are going to be interpreted as repair commands if the storage is full, right? So let's say we have full mass bar and then we have a factory that is incomplete, simply a construction site, and we give a command like this or a command like this, then this would support the factory and finish it. Same if the factory is building anything, such as it's a complete factory and it's building a tank. The tank is at, let's say, 20% and you give this command or you give this command or you had this given before and now your storage is full, then it would help repairing this tank pretty much and finish the construction. So what this does not do is assist upgrades of full HP targets. So if there is a T1 max that is upgrading to T2, then uh, this command or this command would not make the engineer assist this max because the max has full HP. This only assists if uh, there is HP to gain for the target. And this is the difference you have to memorize. And I guess I mentioned before that uh, manual reclaim is good because it lets you pick between rocks and uh, trees and other plants, depending on whether you need mass or power, and you can decide some manually. Now that's always quite good. I guess I can provide another video in which I explain which reclaimables give you which type of uh, mass and which type of power and uh, how to sell them apart. So thank you for watching and good luck and fun.